everyone. Glad we're on your to-do list tonight. I'm Teresa Strasser. Arizona smokers have to deal with a lot. Annoying PSAs and smoking outside. Now, they're getting canned. Brian McAllen has the top three stories lighting us up around Phoenix. At number one, smokers get a bad rap here in Arizona. From getting the boot at bars and restaurants in 2006 to the news that even e-cigs are bad for you. And now, a Mesa company says take a puff and you can pack your stuff. Out of the approximately 50 people that smoked back then, we only lost about 10. It's all part of Able Aerospace's wellness program, which also includes a gym and free personal trainer. They even drug test employees for nicotine. If it's present, they get fired. Poor smokers. Ugh, as if. At number two, the Diamondbacks' new hot dog is getting national attention. That is a $25 hot dog. How much meat is in a $25 hot dog? It's called the D-Bat Dog. It's an 18-inch corn dog which contains a hot dog wrapped in bacon and cheese, then deep fried in the traditional corn dog batter. But as the Bloomberg Business Week tells us, it's only 3,000 calories. The big lead on USA Today Sports also gave it a mention, and even the Washington Post is talking about this corn dog. Don't even get me started on the corn dog selfies. Guess it's the one thing the Diamondbacks have going for them so far this season. At number three, our city's been named second best in the whole country for mid-century modern architecture. Look around at all the homes with clean lines and lots of glass built between the 40s and the 80s. No wonder we rank just behind Palm Springs. Thanks in part to Frank Lloyd Wright, Tally S. and West, and his architecture school there, these gems from the atomic age stand out. Who says Phoenix only has cookie-cutter homes? Now you are caught up included around Phoenix, I'm Brian McElhatton.